let's let's walk on the ice. Can you get a bit winded? I just have to get through all of this so I can get up to a proper path. But why is it when you're almost through the most difficult path, your girlfriend points out, now I cannot come up. I'm down by the lake because on the other side of the lake, I can see. Today, we are going to be hunting for three of the six forgotten giants. And let's head a little closer into Copenhagen and I can tell you more about them. I've just arrived in Højtorstrup and we are getting closer to the first of our forgotten giants. But uh, Højtorstrup is the first stop and it is only around 10 minutes away from Copenhagen Central Station by train. And uh, if you can see it, it's a bit cold today, but that's not going to hold me back from finding what the first of our forgotten giants. So stay along and let's find it. Uh, by the way, when you get out from the station, um, turn north. Uh, from the main building, it's lift. So I arrived at this gentle giant, but I came in from the wrong side because normally you can walk in front of it, but um, due to the weather and the, the time of year, there's a lot of water with a little bit of a crispy ice. And oh, all right, I can walk on the ice. Yes, let's let's walk on the ice. Nope. So um, one moment, I'll just show her off or him off in all his glory. Just have to uh, get around, but you can also walk around this this cute little bridge. And there we have him, Teddy the Friendly, or oh, Friendly Teddy. Friendly Teddy is a gentle giant and is the first of our six giants. And Teddy has been living here in the Hagemose since 2016. The history about Friendly Teddy is that he's helping people across the river or the waterway. The problem is there's a bit much water here, so a big step and you can actually walk all the way out here. The next problem is there's uh, simply too much water for me to get around, but uh, it is stable enough to you can walk here, so come visit Friendly Teddy. Great thing I know how to jump. Teddy is named from a very friendly man who helped build him. And he is one of the six forgotten giants of Western Copenhagen. And you will find the six giants in Western Copenhagen and we are headed off to the next two in this episode. As we head out from Friendly Teddy, we are setting the course for Thomas on the mountain. Yes, you can actually search him up on Google and it will give you the route. We are walking there because it's 1 hour 17 minutes to walk there. It is 42 minutes by public transport. So we can just as well walk to Thomas on the mountain. One of the great things about the area around Friendly Teddy is that it is a natural area. It is a beautiful area. It has shelters for you to sleep in. It has places for you to have a bonfire. So you can spend a cozy evening out here. And furthermore, you can, well, experience the Danish tradition of hygge. Yeah, hygge is, well, cozy on steroids. So um, go out here, spend the night out here, have a great time. But we will continue our travels towards Thomas on the Mountain. When out walking, it's important to get something to eat. And that's why I'm heading in for lunch at the best place possible at IKEA. Yes, they have a great restaurant and it's cheap and it's right on the way.
So after a little uh, lunch, we're ready to head on. And just a little pro tip, IKEA has free toilets. Yeah, on stations and other places in Denmark, you usually have to pay for toilets. In IKEA, they're free. So walk in there, take the toilet, walk out, or take a lunch. Two people, lunch, 122 Danish crowns. I will write what it is in dollars and euros. Nevertheless, it's cheap to eat out at IKEA. But uh, let's head on and see if we can fight Thomas at the mountain. Growing up, I always learned that, oh, Alipas Lund, that's not a good place, it's a ghetto. But do you see any ghetto out here? I see beautiful nature. So yeah, there are some ghetto buildings that can be classified as a ghetto, but it's a beautiful, peaceful place, especially when the sun is high. So it's no problem walking out here. And it is a great walk, actually. I don't know how many steps I'm up to right now, but I will count them when I reach the final giant. Getting up to the top of the so-called mountain or hill. You get a bit winded, but it's a good workout or a good workout without working out. And apparently there's been horses up here. Couldn't I have gotten a horse up here instead of walking? Because it came. It is. And uh, still no gentle giant in sight. So let's look for him. He should be right around here, somewhere. <laughs> and my girlfriend who has been with me, who says, oh, it's just up here, I have been there. No, it's not up there. But calling this a mountain is so wrong. It's a hill. Let's head in here and see what it has to offer. No giant in sight. I'm very lost. Oh, I think I spotted him. Can you spot him on this? If not, well, let me head, head down and ignore my Danish speaking girlfriend who keeps on speaking Danish in an English video. Woohoo! And there we have him. Resting on the hill. Yeah, I will not call this a mountain, but a hill we can call it, and he's resting here. Nice and comfy. Thomas on the mountain is the 15th of these kind of trolls. And if you want me to visit all of the trolls in Denmark, then a sub to the channel will help me a long way and spread the word to your friends so I can visit all the trolls in the entire world, because there are also some abroad. There are even some in the United States. Leaving Thomas behind and heading for Little Tilde. That's the next stop. I just have to get through all of this so I can get up to a proper path. But let's see if we can find Little Tilde. Why is it when you're almost through the most difficult path, your girlfriend points out, oh, we could also have gone around. Yeah. Yep, we always spot it at the end. There's an easier path than the one we take. But it's not as fun. 
The shortest distance between two places are a straight line. It's just not always the easiest. All right, I'm halfway down, I come up again. There's a little path back here. Now I cannot come up. I know it's not because I'm holding the camera. It's simply because it's too slippery on this mud. Off with the camera and off with the next camera. And now it's just me who has to get up. Yeah. All right. What will a smart man do? Not that. Mm. Finally, up. Ah, there's the path, but <laughs> typical me. Straight down. I'm down by the lake because on the other side of the lake, I can see the gentle giant. But uh, we have to get over. Unfortunately, it's winter, so the, the ferry is closed. For It's a pull ferry, so you have to use your own muscles to get over. It would have been a great exercise over there, but uh, no, 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 no. We have to walk around and find a bridge over there, but you might be able to spot till the in the background, but we will see if we can get a little bit closer. So we reach the drone till there, and if you hear a little hum in the background, it's just a drone hovering. It's not mine. I should be saying that because it is not mine for once. But nonetheless, we reached the troll tilde. This entire trip was 20,000 steps. It was right around four hours of walking, and we are still missing three of the six forgotten giants in Western Copenhagen. But I'll do them in the next episode. But for now, I want to point your attention towards this video right here. It's the video about Roskilde, where there's also one troll. So yeah, there's one troll and a lot of good information about Roskilde, a great place for a day trip from Copenhagen.